Hey everybody, this is Dr. Carmen Bright, and this is Car Chronicles. I just want to come on really quick. Today is Thanksgiving 2023, so I just want to wish you guys a happy Thanksgiving. I hope you guys are spending with family and friends. If not, those of you that are coming out of these situations with narcissists, I hope that you're finding your little peace, even if it's peace by yourself. You know, turn on a good Lifetime movie or, you know, a Hallmark movie. Uh, if you got a fireplace, throw some wood in the fireplace or turn the electric fireplace on. And relax. Start a new tradition. Do something new for yourself. And be prepared for the holiday hoovers. You know, this is the time where a lot of people are by themselves and they're thinking about other people being with, with family and friends. And this is the one of the biggest times in which a narcissist will try to hoover you back or try to play with your emotions. Always remember that, you know, narcissists, you, you know, they're, they're, they're manipulate emotional vampires. And this is the season in which they know that you used to spend time with them, especially if you're just new to coming out of the situation. And they'll use that. They'll play on your emotions. They make you feel bad. Remember when we used to do... Don't get caught up in those conversations. See, some of you guys want to have this conversation. It's okay. It's all right. They're just wishing me a happy um, Thanksgiving. But what they do is, is they reminisce and they take you back to the past. They take you back to your trigger points. They take you back and then you start missing them. Remember when we used to do this? Remember when mama and remember when daddy and, and remember when we, when we, when we. See, now you're all in your emotions. Now you're caught up in your past again. So the best thing to do is not to answer any telephone calls. Block your telephone. Block them. Should have done that already when you went no contact. But this is not the time and the season for you to um, connect with that individual because this end of individual that you know especially if this is your first scene now we got some we got some rookies on here and we got some pros on here that have been through it this is not your first holiday you guys know how it is you know what it feels like for those of you that are still new to the game you know coming out being by yourself for the first time just know that all of us have been through it as well you know the first time you know the family is not always uh, your immediate family Sometimes it's the family that you create, you know, I, I have because I live so far away from my family. I have a family that I have and that's Apostle Sadler, Bishop Kathy Gibson, you know, the people that I'm around. That's my family. Uh, those are the people that I value. Those are the people that I honor. Those are the people that I'm thankful for in the hardest of my times. You know, when I had to make a decision to leave uh, when that when that situation ship was over with those were the people that were there for me in my darkest times those were the people there to to cheer me on to 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 you know to help me to move forward in my situation when I didn't have they came in and they made sure that me and my daughter had uh, as you guys know I have older kids and grandkids that don't live with me but I have one uh, that's still at home with me and you know when when I was in that situation ship where I had left and that narcissist was making sure that I I knew you ain't got nothing, you know, and making sure that he, you know, making sure that I knew that he knew or he thought he knew, which he didn't know, but to try to rub in your face, same thing they did, you know, to show uh, or send pictures to your children to show how wonderful their new family is and all the things that they're doing. And you could be struggling trying to get back on your feet, but they'll do things on purpose to stab you in your heart. That is not the time to go check your kid's phone and look at the pictures or go look on their Facebook pages or social media, you know, because remember, you'll be triggered. This is this is your first for for many of you. This is your first you know, this is the first time being without them. This is the first time um, not having the traditions that, that you created with this individual. You create your own tradition. You create your new traditions, you know, um, just because they were there. And, you know, they probably spoiled every holiday for you. They probably made it horrible. You know, you have the thoughts and you're trying to pull in the, the beautiful things about the holiday. But if you really go back and check, you know, they're the ones that made it all about them. They're the ones that made you feel bad about whatever during the holidays and so you really hate the holidays but you in your mind you try to create an image of what the holiday is supposed to look for look like you know now is that time where you can go and you create your own traditions you create what you want your holidays to look like you know um it i mean it is a new beginning this is a new beginning for many of you guys and i want you to know that we are here to support you you know go check out apostle helen sadler's page your destiny helper go check out tells you with the t on mpd go check out um uh, tasha leelaman um uh the um the the uh i was gonna say the chronicles of a christian girl you know but uh um oh my gosh um the uh diary of a christian girl I've, I probably just given her new titles, uh, but go check her out on um, on on Instagram. Um, very powerful young lady. Go check out um, Karen Smith. You know, Cluster B Free. You know, go check out some of these ladies. Some of them are doing support groups during the holidays for those of you that are lonely and by yourself. 
you don't have to be lonely. You know, you don't have to be lonely. Sometimes I'm by, by myself and I'm alone, but I'm never lonely. I am content with myself. And my daughter, she goes to visit her dad. You know, if I'm by myself, I'm never lonely. I always can find things to do. Sometimes just to have a break in the house by myself to watch a movie because a lot of times I don't have time to do that. To go shopping by myself, to take myself out to eat, to go to a spa, to go to a movie, you know, to do something by myself. I enjoy that because uh, I'm, I'm an ambivert. Some of you guys are introverts. Some of you guys are extrovert. You have to have something to stimulate you. I am a perfect ambivert and I enjoy my me time because I spend so much time with people and helping people. I'm an ambivert. So some of you guys have to go and create new traditions for yourselves. You know, this is the holiday season. Be prepared. Be prepared. Be prepared. This is the time they know that you're most vulnerable. This is the time they know that you're most sensitive. Now, for some of you guys that are pros, you know that they, they already know. They can't even play that game with you. I, I, you, I, you can lick glass and it's not going to make me lick a window. It is not going to It's not going to move me. You don't call. You don't say anything. It don't matter to me. Some of you guys have gotten beyond that point. But some of you guys that are going through it for the first time, you know, this is the time of season where, you know, you get into your emotions. And they're going to take advantage of that. They're going to use that against you to try to make you get into your emotions. They'll hoover you. It's the holiday hoovers. Don't fall for the holiday hoovers. Remember, just like with a uh, uh, alcohol anonymous, just like with uh, our non, you know, the, the, the support systems is one day at a time. You're breaking an addiction to a person and it's one day at a time. And don't let people say, you know, when you have little victories, I didn't look at the Facebook today. That's a great victory for some people. Uh, you know, just talk about it when you've done it for a whole year. No, no, no. That's a great victory for you. I didn't look at their Facebook page today. I didn't do this today. You know, I was able to do this today. I was able to take a bath today. You know, those are little victories. And we applaud you for those little victories because we went through it too. You know, so remember, there are holiday hoovers coming up for some of them. And then for some, they're not. And for some of you, you're wondering, some of you are anticipating the holiday hoover. And when they don't do it, you're even more heartbroken. See, a narcissist knows you. They know whether you they want to hoover you to hurt you even more or not to hoover you and pay you no attention, which hurts you even more. So you have to be prepared. They know how you think because they've been with you long enough. They studied you long enough. You were a case study to them. So they know you. Listen, this is just the beginning. This pain is not going to last always. You know, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. There is, you know, new days are coming. It's called grief and loss. I have a whole class, of course. Look on my um, profile link. I have a whole course that talks about, you know, grief and loss. 16 different types of grief and loss. And I talk about that because some of you guys have loss after loss after loss. And you're grieving, but you haven't even completed the grieving process of other losses. But I'm telling you, it's, it's going to get better. You know, don't injure yourself. If you are, uh, and I'll put the number, um, it's, it's 988. Actually, the crisis number is 988. If you need to talk to someone, call the crisis number, 988. If you feel like you're going to hurt yourself, go to your local ER, call uh, 988 if you need to talk to some a crisis counselor during the holidays. But don't you dare give yourself and put yourself on an altar for a narcissist because the greatest sacrifice for a narcissist, if you unalive your own self, to them, that is the greatest attention you can get them because now people will pay attention to them. It's not about you. Remember, it's all about them. And you're too beautiful. You're too talented. The world needs you. You have something to say. Uh, so I recommend call 988 if you need a, a crisis counselor to talk to you during these seasons. Go look at the videos. You know, go watch you a nice movie. Get you a hot cup of coffee. You know, some of you guys drink wine. Get you a nice little glass of wine. Sit, sit in front of the fireplace. Make new traditions. Make new traditions. And you guys be aware. Uh, um, just be a, a, aware of the fact that I have a conference coming up July, I think it's 27th of 2024. I've already got the link up so you can guys go ahead and start pre-ordering your tickets. Go ahead and get the tickets now before they go back to their regular prices. We have VIP. We're going to have a white a white event, a formal white event with a dinner. You get to meet all the people you normally see on uh, Apostle Helen Sadler's um, forum. And we also have general admissions. We're going to be in Atlanta, Georgia. So please join me. Also be prepared. Um, I will be certifying coaches. Uh, so I will be providing you with uh, coaching to certify coaches to become coaches. And if you want a niche, you know, with recovery of narcissists, you know, of, of those that have suffered with nar narcissist abuse, you know, I will be adding a niche. But you guys be prepared. I'm going to open that institute, that academy, so that you guys can get certified as coaches. You guys have a beautiful Thanksgiving.